Hello, this is Stephanie from apastocpaexam.com. The AICPA, NASPA, and Prometric have jointly announced an arrangement to allow Indian CPA candidates to take the exam in the Middle East. I would like to give you the background and factors to consider whether to take this new option. Overview of International Testing Center the AICPA testing centers have become available outside of the U.S. since August 2011 in response to the demand from U.S. citizens living abroad as well as from international candidates. Bahrain, Kuwait, Lebanon, and the UAE are the four countries in the Middle East where you can sit for the U.S. CPA exam. Only citizens and long-term residents in the Middle Eastern countries can take advantage of these international testing centers. Since October 1, 2014, Indian citizens and permanent residents have been granted this privilege as well. Is it the same exam? One of the most frequently asked questions is whether the exam is the same as the one offered in the United States. The answer is yes in many aspects. Specifically, the exam offered in the U.S. and in international locations is the same in terms of exam content, format, and duration. Delivery. Both exams are 100% computerized and taken at Prometric Centers. Testing windows. You can sit for the exam in the first two months of each quarter. Language. The exam is administered in English regardless of location. Registration process. Both U.S. and international candidates should send in applications to their chosen state boards. The CPA exam and licensing requirements are generally the same, but I will highlight the few differences below. What are the differences? State Board Restrictions First of all, there are few state boards that do not participate in the international administration of the CPA exam. In other words, you cannot take the exam outside of the U.S. if you register in the following states. California, Delaware, and New Jersey are some of the more popular states for international candidates. Licensing Requirements Candidates taking the exam in non-U.S. locations must complete the licensing requirements within three years. This includes completing the experience requirements of your state board. Please note that this requirement is not necessary if you take the exam in U.S. jurisdictions. Exam fees. Additional fees applied in non-U.S. locations. As of 2014, financial accounting and auditing cost $307 per section versus $192 if you take the same exam sections in the U.S. Business Environment and Concept and Regulation cost $327 per section versus $172 in U.S. locations. The exam fees are substantially more expensive, but it will likely be offset but the lower traveling and accommodation cost for international candidates. Identification proof on the day of the exam. All candidates sitting for exam in non-U.S. locations must present a valid passport. The rule is different in U.S. centers where other IDs, such as driver's license, are acceptable. I hope this short video explains how Indian CPA exam candidates can benefit in this new arrangement. Taking the exam in the Middle East is the same as that in the U.S. in most aspects, but the important difference includes the few states that don't take part in this international administration program and that you need to complete all educational and experience requirements within three years. If you have any question on your own situation, feel free to drop me a note below. You may also want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates on the CPA exam. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.